there, it's Dr. Melissa McCreary from TooMuchOnYourPlate.com and today I have some quick tips to share for you to handle overeating and to do healthier eating when it comes to business travel and vacations. Those are two places where a lot of my clients get stuck. You know, it's one thing to start putting together some routines that really work for you in your day-to-day -day life, but when you hit the road, whether it's for business or family vacation or fun with your friends, you lose your structure and sometimes you lose your good intentions and things can start to fall apart. So not only can you get off track for a few days, but most of us know that once you get off track, it can be harder to get on track when you get home again. So I wanna to share today a few tips that can be really useful when it comes to business travel and vacation travel. The first thing is to plan ahead. And by planning ahead, I mean do some research. So take a, take a few minutes to give some thought to how you would like things to go. How do you want to eat when you're there? What are the situations that might um, get in the way of your best intentions or the way that you want to eat? And what can you do ahead of time in terms of strategic thinking and brainstorming, strategizing how you would like to handle those situations? What do you want to say to people if you have to decline food or if you want to decline food? Um, how do you want to handle the menus? What are the kinds of things that you want to order when you go out to eat? It's amazing um, how often we just hope that some, the right thing will happen and we don't think ahead of time about putting together a plan. So think about whether you want to have a policy that you don't want to eat bread in the restaurants or you're not going to eat the tortilla chips, you're going to send them back. Maybe you're only going to eat seafood for dinner or you want to make sure that you have a salad every day. Create some guidelines for yourself before you go. And then the next tip I have for you is to do some research before you get there. Google is an amazing thing. And so, you know, most places you go, you're going to be able to do some research on where the possible, where the possible choices are for eating, what the restaurants are, and even what's on the menus. Take a look at those ahead of time and even consider making some decisions. Pick out what looks good, what looks healthy. If there are questions you have and research that you want to do about what's in certain things, sometimes you can even do that before you go. And it can eliminate some of the stress and also some of that autopilot ordering that can happen in the heat of the moment. The next thing you want to do is consider what your policy is going to be with alcohol. You know, a lot of people, you have a drink, you have a glass of wine, and it kind of lets down your guard in terms of the, the policies that you'd set for yourself or the decisions that you had decided you were going to make about food. You know yourself better than anyone. So decide before you go, what's your policy about alcohol? Are you going to drink? How much are you going to drink? And if you're not going to drink in situations where that may be the thing that you are used to doing, what are you going to do instead? What are you going to order instead? How are you going to handle the situation? The last thing I want you to think about before you go away is what's your goal for activity? What's your, um, what's your ideal goal, goal? What are the things you'd ideally like to have happen while you're on your trip? And you may want to consider what are your minimal expectations? So even if things get crazy, even if the, the fitness center at the hotel doesn't have the stuff you thought it would have, what are your bare bones expectations for yourself? Is it doing your core work every day? Is it making sure that you get a certain number of steps on your fitness tracker or that you make it for a walk three times during the week or that you uh, take 10 minutes during your, your lunch break to walk around the hotel? Be creative, but decide ahead of time what the expectations are you have for yourself and what's going to be enough for you to feel like you were successful when you get on that plane and you return home. Those are just a few tips for travel, but I think you'll find that if you start thinking it through before you go, you're going to not only have more success, you're going to have better results, but you're going to feel better when you, when you leave the place that you've been and when you step back into your life. If you like this tip and you'd like more tips, I want to invite you to come by TooMuchOnHerPlate.com where I'm sharing tips, helpful articles, and all sorts of resources to help smart, busy women break free from overwhelm, overload, and overeating. Come on by and while you're there, be sure to take the free Hidden Hungers quiz where you can find out what you're really craving and what's driving your overeating that has nothing to do with food. Thanks for listening. Take really good care.